These are the era-defining pieces of footwear that are crucial attire for anyone who values their sports style. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 iconic sneakers. K-Swiss tubes. We let the dogs out. Emphasis on we. Mm, who did it? We did it. For this list, we've chosen sneakers that have a revolutionary or unique design, and that perhaps even had an impact on the world of pop culture. Number 10, the 574's New Balance. Doesn't sound that fly, but on your foot, this is an incredible shoe. Considered a signature shoe for New Balance, even by the company itself, this trainer is now one of the most versatile, all-purpose shoes on the market. Bizarrely, they were first created from leftover material from the company's 576 model, but the 574's are now fully customizable in over 80 colors, making them a popular choice for both men and women. Despite largely being employed as a fashion sneaker nowadays, the sneaker is still packed full of trademark New Balance technology that makes it incredibly rugged while remaining exceedingly comfortable. What happened to your feet? What do you mean? These are my 407s. Oh, they're 407s. Can I see them? Yeah. These offer a lot of support. Right. Whoa, come on! Number nine, the pump, Reebok. Reebok pump, pump, pump. The, brakes. the first shoe to ever utilize an internal inflation mechanism. This revolutionary piece of footwear would make it onto this list for its sheer innovation alone. Because of its fairly clean, high top design, the eye is drawn to the large orange pump in the shape of a basketball found on the tongue, which sets Reebok's pump apart from other similar styles of the era. And when Reebok came with this pump technology that would squeeze your feet tight and make you feel the support, I think it was amazing. The inflation anchored the foot for unrivaled support and a custom fit, making it ideal for a variety of sports, like tennis and running to name a few. Inspiring numerous other styles of pump shoes, Reebok's model will always be remembered for first bringing to the market this feat of footwear engineering. So Michael, my man, if you want to fly first class, pump up and air out. Number 8, the Air Max 90 Nike. And it's a classic too, Air Max 90s, I, you know, I could buy those all day long. Called Air Max 3 until it was renamed for its launch in the year 2000, the Air Max 90 wasn't the first Nike trainer to have a visible air, but it is the Air Max design iteration that perhaps stood the test of time the best. The original infrared colorway, famous for features that accentuated the size of the cushion, made it a classic. And the number of other designs that have followed is a testament to its popularity. Even former President George H.W. Bush got his own pair in the signature style except his are adorned with a name befitting of a man who once led the free world, with the Air Max replaced by Air Prez. That's 10 years, I told Pooh in 95, I'll kill you if you try me for my Air Max 95s. Number seven, authentic Vans. Since 1966, Vans has set a trend. I got a blue pair, yeah, in a size 10. The shoe synonymous with skaters and surfers has grown far beyond a simple, functional piece of canvas footwear. So simple is the authentic style that it has influenced a number of counterfeiters or imitators of the canvas design. In today's society, this model is now a vital part of both male and female fashion collections, with its minimalistic style and inherent coolness that make it a shoe for almost any occasion. Another piece of footwear that was the starting point for the entire brand, Vans Authentic epitomizes freedom and liberty in fashion. Vans go, all you lame faces. My Vans lime green, yeah, I'm flying in the space, yeah. Number six. Classic leather, Reebok. I remember when y'all had the high tops with the straps, I had like a couple pair of those joints. One of the first members of Reebok's Franchise 5 collection, the classic leather's uncomplicated design meant it quickly evolved from being a popular running shoe into something ready-made for new colorways. To be honest, I think, like, I mean, the, the suede on these things are insane. As other trainers have come packed with all sorts of space-age technology, this one's simplicity has been the key to its enduring appeal. The sleek design is the go-to shape whenever you think about the brand, and even after 30 years, it remains an iconic shoe that's both functional and fashionable. It's like people only do things because they get paid, and that's just really sad. Number five, suede Puma. Nothing like a classic pair of Pumas, you know. It'll never get old, it's just a timeless look. A staple that illustrates what Pumas had to offer for over 45 years now, the white Puma swish sweeping up the shoe against the backdrop of a striking color set it apart from its competitors. What I like about this shoe is they're really durable, good suede. Not many shoes could claim to have played a part in important moments in history, but Tommy Smith and John Carlos's black suedes were right next to them on the podium at the 1968 Olympics. Barely changing since its inception, Puma suede has grown with culture, 
becoming a favorite for b-boy crews throughout the 80s and remaining popular today. Well, you can do anything but take me over my blue suede shoes. Number four, Air Force One, Nike. Named after the president of the United States' airplane, this was the first basketball shoe to utilize the Nike Air technology, laying the foundation for countless numbers of on- and off-court footwear in the future. Coming in low, mid- and high-top styles, the shoe's influence is far-reaching, first inspiring legendary shoe designer Tinker Hatfield to leave architecture and later becoming the target of songs featuring Nelly and Kanye West, the Air Force One has such a solid legacy, it's easy to forget that it's merely a sneaker. Number three, the superstar, Adidas. The Adidas Superstar is one of the most successful sports shoes of all time. With unique design elements, such as the all-leather upper, the Adidas Superstar has grown to be one of the most influential shapes both in basketball and hip-hop culture. Wait a minute, I know you! You're Kareem Abdul-Jabbar! You play basketball for the Los Angeles Lakers! When Kareem Abdul-Jabbar wasn't acting in airplane, he was donning his superstars on the courts for the Lakers. And would Run DMC's look be complete without the sneakers laces undone and tongue thrust out? Getting them home, taking them out the box, putting them up on my dresser, and going to bed, looking at them. The 1970s and 80s would look significantly different without this legendary sneaker pounding the streets and the courts. Number 2, Air Jordan 1, Nike. The greatest player to have ever played basketball would inevitably require a shoe to match his dedication, innovation, and class. All these are attributes the first iteration of the Air Jordan series had in abundance. Defying convention since its inception, its use of color for an on-court shoe cost Jordan a $5,000 fine every single game, but he wore them anyway. All this turned into an ingenious marketing ploy for Nike, as the shoe gained a rebellious image even before its general release to the public. On October 18th, the NBA threw them out of the game. With a silhouette ideal for all sorts of colorways, they really are a blank canvas for your feet. I got six f***ing kids! You know how much money that is to put them through school? You know how many Air Jordan 6 black kids wear? Before we lace up our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I'm actually sitting in front of the Tiger Corsair. We first introduced this shoe in 1969, and this is the shoe that basically spawned Nike. I probably kissed a girl wearing Stan Smith's. Just one, just the one. Number one, Chuck Taylor All-Stars, Converse. Marquis Converse, the founder of the company, was so impressed with what he'd done to improve the product uh, that he put Chuck's name on the product in 1923. The oldest, most popular, and best-selling basketball shoe ever, Reportedly, 60% of all Americans own or have owned a pair of these iconic canvas shoes. And just think, their design is basically just the same as it was in the early 20th century. The first athletic shoe that looked as good as it functioned, it helped Converse become the dominant force in the sneaker industry. Until, of course, the emergence of other big brands. Worn not only on the basketball court, but also by Olympic athletes and soldiers training for World War II, All-Stars maintain their popularity as a classic sneaker for both men and women to this day. All other basketball shoes have these legends to thank for revolutionizing how we view our athletic shoes in and out of the sport. Do you agree with our list? With so many editions of the same shoe around the world, there's a good chance we've jogged past one or two of your favorites. For more iconic top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com.